Hello there everybody and welcome to another Redstone Logic Advanced Computerish kind of video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you my Minecraft Multiplier. That's right, it's a, uh, it's a higher order machine, higher order piece of Redstone engineering which means that it uses something other than, well, it uses like a lot of logic gates and a lot of different logic combined to make this thing work. So yeah, it does what it says on the tin. It is a 4-bit multiplier. It takes a 4-bit input here, which is the 4 buttons there. And if you come around the back, we have the other 4 inputs here. There's a reset button, which is the cyan, and that resets all of the registers involved. And there are two clocked inputs, which I probably should attach to like an actual clock, instead of doing it manually, but that's this one here, which I should have colour-coded yellow. But, ah well. It uses, um, uses an adder, which is in here, which is a new design um, which I created pretty recently, I might do another video on that since I don't have an, a, um, a dedicated adder tutorial and uh, yeah let's just do a quick showcase hmm what is a derp suggestion uh, yeah uh, someone said hi to me, hi blend if you're watching this video I can't remember the typing so yeah let's pick two numbers, um, let's do the standard I don't know, let's do 5x5 five five. okay so on this input we have the least significant bit so the smallest number here and I did not mean to do that at all um, so let's just re replace that in not a good start okay so the least significant bit so the smallest number in the binary is on the left hand side here so we have to make up five we have one zero one zero so that's one two four eight four add one equals five now we go around to the front and we do 5 again, but this time the least significant bit is on the right, like in standard binary. So we have 1010, zero, zero. and if you heard that little beep, that's Facebook telling me I should answer whomever, or whoever, whatever, is texting me, inboxing me. So yeah, we have our, we have our input stored in these registers here, both of which are shift registers, but I'll get onto that explanation in a minute. And now since it's 4-bit binary, we need to give it 4 clock pulses. So, 1... Two, three, four. Okay, so that should now come out with 25, and if we see on the lamps, we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and down here is the overflow of 256. So what do we have? We have a 1 on, no 2, no 4, an 8, and a 16. So 8 add 16 is 24, add the 1 is 25, and 5 times 5 is... 25. So yeah, that's very nice, and that works perfectly. Let's just clear my inventory. Now for a quick explanation. I'm not going to do a tutorial because I can see it's a little bit big to do in one video. I release a world download, and if anyone wants me to go through it step by step, how to build it, I do a little mini series of maybe three or four videos. I would be, um, I'd be glad to do that also. I do that little side project along with computer stuff. So there we go. let's just reset all the registers. That should have cleared all the adders, the external registers, and show you how this works. Okay, so this is going to be a bit difficult since I've never really explained a multiplier before, but I'll uh, I'll do my best. So start off, this is just a standard 4-bit input. This is basically just a binary input, and that leads into a shift register. And you also have the other one here into a shift register as well. And now this uses oh, let me just clear chat otherwise I'll do my head in. So this uses the same kind of um, method which you do in long multiplication. So uh, I need some signs. I need some signs. Okay, let's get some signs. If you had the numbers, All right, I need to go take out F1 mode. Let's uh, where shall I build this? This is always a bit where I start stuttering and making a mess out of things because I really should plan what I'm going to say and how I'm going to do it, but you know, I don't, which is a bit stupid. But oh well. Okay, so say you had um, I don't know. Let's think of two numbers: twelve times by eleven. Okay, so in long multiplication, you said I was twelve with eleven under it and under that you'd have two lines like that and then you'd have your answer so you'd have something like that, let's just do up here so 12, 11 under it, two lines and then your answer would be here obviously it's not that, so what you start with doing, you start doing the first two numbers so 12, 11, line, and then we do 2 by 1, so under here we have a 2 and then we do 1 by 1, so if we move over 1, we actually need to tap it this way so we have 12, and then underneath that we shift the number over one. So imagine, like, uh, here's a line. <laughs> Here is our what do we have? We had 12, and then we shift shift it over one by putting a zero in, 
and then we do the same thing again so we'll actually end up with something like this so imagine if these were lined up just hit a few spaces okay so there we go we have two and a one and then we shift that over that number here shift it over by one so shift it to the left and then do the one times by the twelve again and then after that we have another line and then we add it all together so we end up with um, 132 because uh, let's just get my point out the um, the two and the zero add together to make a two a one and a two add together to make a three and the one carries forward to create the three so that's how you do the multiplication in standard decimal um, and that is repeated well not repeated done the same way in binary so you you um you like you let the number through so twelve times by one um, is twelve so that then goes through um, but you've got to remember that there is only a zero and a one so basically what you're going to do is you're going to have a 1, see where the 11 is you're going to have either 1 there or a 0 there so if a 0 is there you don't let nothing will come through so nothing will be in like one of these lines and if you have a 1 obviously that number is then going to be let through and then the only other part you need to worry about is shifting so it's kind of hard to explain but okay but uh, so let's, get, let's do the example again 1 by 5 and same again 1 by 5, 5 by 5. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a 1 and a fi uh, one and a 4 going through. And that goes through this block and into the adders. And this is where the kind of like the fancy part comes along. We have, this is like my enabler. Like guy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 did a good explanation of this. But uh, I am kind of copying him as well. Sorry about that uh, brief pause. I had a call from my sister, which is a bit annoying. But you know, I can't really, um, can't really deny her my presence, as you know. Like, kind of girls can be a bit bitchy about those kind of things. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, where was that? Okay, so we have our standard input here, and we have our enabler here. So if we have a number in this far left cell, this will say if we have one, sorry, this will say okay, there's an input in here and this will push this line down allowing all of these to go down so that is effectively like having a 1 in um, in this place here so then that goes through gets added and then goes into the deflops which is then saved once we save and then we say ok let's just get rid of that okay. so then we save it to the deflops so that's now holding 4 and 1 and now we need to shift it just like we do in real life we um we take our number and then we shift it over one so twelve then gets shifted down to hundred and twenty. So let's shift our input and that is done by in fact I'll do it yeah, I'll do it over here. And then we uh, and also what we need to do is shift this over one. Since we're not actually multiplying by the one this time, we're multiplying by this one or whatever it is in here. So we shift we effectively shift this one over and we shift that over that one as well. Oops, I've got another Facebook message. I'm loved. So yep, let's just flick this, this shifts them both. Okay, so now what do we have? We have the 4 and the 1, but shifted over 1 to the left. And here, we have the 4 and the 1 shifted over to the left, but obviously that one's kind of disappeared. And we have nothing in here. So now nothing will be sent through. And then, so then we save that, and it's just going to save the previous four on the one will be saving there and then we just repeat that so we shift it again so now we have our one in here our, our four and then this has been shifted over again so that is now being add, going, sent through and that will be added to the number which is stored in the deflops and that's this little bus underneath here so that then gets sent back through and we save that to the deflops that updates it and then technically we should shift one more time even though there's nothing left in here um, as you can see that's been shifting over the final time and then we should save obviously that didn't change it and now that's what we're left with, we're left with our correct answer of 25 now this is called the uh, it's called, I think it's called sequ yeah, sequential um, sequential multiplication I believe not combinational Okay, my different types of logic mixed up here. So yeah, I believe it's sequential, and if it is combinational instead, someone will correct me probably. 
banana lord or yeah whatever so yeah this is sequential logic and it base and the method it's used is called shift and addition because that's basically what it does it just lets your number through adds it in the full adder here I don't know if you can really tell it's in there but it is in there and then saves it and then everything gets shifted over and then saved again and so on and so on and so on so yeah that's uh, I hope that kind of makes sense and if it doesn't I am really sorry but it's kind of hard to um, kind of hard to explain let's just do one more uh, input to prove that it's not like falsified so let's think of two numbers let's do let's do my example 12 by 11 so 12 by 11 is 1 2 8 4 so 8 and 4 in there to make 12 and in here we want 11 which is 8 add 2 add 1 so 8 2 and 1 and now if I just place my repeater again so it does it at the same time it's on a delay because I want it to save and then it to shift and then to save and then to shift um, so let's do that so one two three four okay so 12 by 11 should be 132 so we have one two four is on a 16 uh, 32 64 what is going on here? Uh, wait. 64. At 32. No. Wait. What? 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 Okay, I am actually stupid. If you um, if you didn't realize, when I inputted the number into here, I just realized that I did. I said four, two, and uh, I said like, what did I say? I don't know what I said, but I said I inputted four, two, and one, which is seven. So what it actually did was seven times twelve, which is eighty-four. And if you look over here, we have um, the correct output for 84, I believe. 64, add 16, which is 80, add the 4, which is 84. What is that thunder? Guys, come on, what are you doing? I think Redstone Warrior or Xeomorph is messing with the lightning. I hear lightning? Yeah, so do I. So yeah, what the heck is that thing flying around? Anyway, okay, it was red, okay. So I'm sorry about that, failed failed demonstration at the end because I can't actually input binary right but yeah so you know what happened that is 8 and that is 4 and I did 4 add 2 add 1 instead of 8 add 2 add 1 so we kind of got the wrong wrong uh, input so yeah thanks for watching everyone and I hope this did make some sense if um, if not all of it but it works and I will probably leave a world download if requested and then if requested again wait why didn't that update everything if done. Okay, I'm not getting any redstone updates. Now would be a good time to leave. So yeah, if you want a tutorial, please just tell me in the description and I'll work my way around it. I have got kind of behind on tutorials once again due to schoolwork and all that crap. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys, please stick around for more videos.